everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Ask Cirque, the exclusive Cirque du Soleil YouTube series where we answer your questions. Have you watched episodes 1 and 2 yet? Catch up now by clicking this button in your top right corner or check out the description below. Who will we meet this week? Just sit tight and join us in this new episode of Ask Cirque. Hi everybody, my name is Leon Kupferschmidt and I'm an artistic talent scout at Cirque du Soleil. So Victoria Jackson from Instagram asks, what's the audition process like? So I'm going to read this because it's a very long answer and it's very complicated actually. So every discipline is different. Uh, we try to make sure that the audition is adapted uh, to evaluate every aspect that the artist can give us, can show us, can demonstrate. Some auditions are only a few hours long, some are two days long, dance ones are two days long, singers can be about 45 minutes long but it's just you in front of the evaluator. The important thing for us is that you feel at ease, that you feel comfortable to show us exactly what you're capable of doing, what your potential is, what your energy, your talent, your magic. We want to see openness, we want you to try new things, we want to really really test your, 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 your comfort zones as well as, as zones that are not that easily seen from the first five minutes. I train in a group, in a group act, so we train about uh, three times a week for one or two hours. Um, besides that, I like to take care of myself and do my own training. And I train roughly about one or two hours a day, but that's just for me, that's what I want to do, but for what I need to do, about three times a week for one or two hours a day. Sí, por supuesto, es parte de nuestro idioma, es la manera de comunicarnos con otros músicos y de expresar lo que un compositor quiere decir con la música. Follow your dreams, work hard, train hard, try broaden your artistic horizons, take dance classes, acting, singing, play musical instrument to try get as much diversity as possible. This will help you on your journey. Best of luck. I started gymnastics since uh, I was six years old. So I did like 25 years gymnastics. Then I stopped. Then I did just like two, three years aerial straps and hand balancing. And then I came to Cirque. And now for four years, I am already part of Totem. Hola, tudo bem? Eu sou Marquinho da Luz. Eu sou percussionista brasileiro, baiano. E eu trabalho aqui no Cirque Soleil. E agora. Eu quero te contar rapidinho como que eu cheguei aqui. Eu cheguei aqui, na verdade, eu tenho alguns vídeos no YouTube. E um caçador de talentos do Cirque Soleil me encontrou e me fez o um convite para fazer a audição. Eu fiz, passei. E graças a Deus estou aqui realizando esse grande sonho da minha vida. Então, falando em sonho, eu queria te convidar a continuar, a continuar esse sonho que é maravilhoso que você tem, que, de ser uma baterista aqui no, no Cirque Soleil. É um trabalho fantástico. E você, eu acho que todo mundo consegue alcançar seus sonhos se você tem fé e determinação. Eu só te peço que, eu te dou um conselho que você encontre um mestre que ele possa te trilhar no caminho certo para você alcançar seus objetivos, ok? Espero que você continue e que a gente possa se conhecer em breve. Um beijo e até breve. Hi, my name is Frédéric and I'm from the PR department. Mario Lucio from Facebook asks, In all the presentations, are the songs really a live performance with singers and musicians with all the instruments? Some presentations are too perfect to be a live show without technological help for the singer. Yes, we have live musicians and live singers. And what's fun about it is that they need to constantly adapt with what is going on on stage. Because if an artist misses a trick and need to do it again, well, the music will need to go longer. So yes, live musicians. But in the show Septimo Dia, The Beatles Love and Michael Jackson One, we have the recording of Soda Stereo, The Beatles, and Michael Jackson. There's a question on social media uh, about what some of our acrobats uh, like to eat, um, which is kind of a difficult question for us to, to answer. Um, everybody's different. We have so many different nationalities and backgrounds. Um, if they they tend to to go to what's tasty, right? And that's our job. And our job is to provide them with the best uh, tasting food we can provide them, uh, which is always different. We're always providing different meals every single day for lunch and dinner. 
that's really our goal is just to keep our whole family happy. So there is no direct answer, no simple answer to that question, uh, except that um, we want everybody to feel like they're at home and I feel like we do a fantastic job doing that on a daily basis. Alejandro Vistue a Diego from YouTube asks, what show has been the most seen until now? Created in 1993, Mystère is the oldest show still being presented by Cirque du Soleil, making it the show with the greatest amount of representation so far. However, created in 1998, O has reached more than 15 million viewers this year, making it the show seen by the greatest amount of people so far. Hi, my name is Hailey Valoria, and I'm an aerialist on Cirque du Soleil's production of Pisa. How do you communicate with each other? Do you have a language academy or something similar for all your artists? My answer to that is the primary language on most shows is English, but we also have interpreters and translators depending on the troops that are present on tour. And what's great about Cirque du Soleil is that because we're such an international company, we each get a taste of different languages and we can learn as we go along. Yes, we need to eat as much as we can because we don't have much time to eat sometimes. <laughs> Especially before the show. Uh, actually, um, yeah, if you say uh, if seriously, then of course, lots of vitamins, lots of fruits. Uh, and we work a lot. I don't really have a special diet to keep my body in shape. Just train hard and, uh, and work a lot, that's it. Yeah, I don't have either the diet. Regular day, like regular life. Uh, you just have to. You just have to work out, and maybe because we're performing so often, we have like ten shows a week, and we have a lot of trainings, the warm ups that it's helping us to be in shape. Chocolate, lots of chocolate. <laughs> Click here to watch more awesome Cirque du Soleil videos and playlists. And here for show tickets. And here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, you have to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with all your friends to flip your everyday reality the Cirque way. Because everyone, every day is extraordinary. extraordinary.